Hey, welcome back to Glide for Growth. In this video, we're gonna talk about the second step to simplifying, automating, and scaling your business with Glide. And that is creating a table for the data. Once you've written down the process that you're trying to work on, you need somewhere to store that information. All technology, tools, and apps, they're just interfaces for you to interact with data or information. So back to our example, Ellie has a catering business and the first step of her process is to write down information about the client, event, and menu. In the coding world, we sometimes refer to information as data and we store this in things called tables. You can think of these like spreadsheets. We're gonna use Glide to add and store this information and then use that information to send the proposal. So right now, go ahead and think about that process you're working on. Go through each step and think about the information you need to know. So I'm inside a brand new Glide project and we're looking at a brand new table called events. Now that we know the process, we need somewhere to store each piece of information. Well, what data do we need to capture? Information about the client and the event. We can start by adding spots to store the client information like first name, last name, organization, and the email where we can send the proposal. Then we need to know information about the event, like the event name, the date of the event, and the menu, like appetizers, entrees, and desserts. We can update these later, but this should get us started. We now have a place to store the information. Now we need a screen or layout to collect the information. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next video.